Alright, welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video and in today's video I'll be showing you how to rank up your survivor grade really fast and really easily in Dead by Daylight. Now, if you didn't already know, today is the 13th of September and at this date of time you will get rank reset in Dead by Daylight which most of you already knew but to you guys that didn't know that, your rank gets reset and you earn rewards depending on high, how high you were in the uh, survivor grade. And in the killer grid, but today we're gonna just be talking about the survivor grid. Maybe the killer grid will be in a future video. So uh, yeah, and uh, today I will be showing you how to rank up that survivor grid really fast, really easily. It is like the best method. So uh, yeah, just enjoy and make sure to listen to exactly what I say. And yeah. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you want to earn this much blood points in a really fast period of time, then check out my most recent videos on my blood point build and my blood point methods. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into the video. Enjoy. Alright, so for the first emblem, we have the Lightbringer. Um, for this, it is really not that complicated. You need 270 points, points for the Iridescent Emblem. Um, to repair two generators alone grants you 200 points. So that is a really good way, the best choice, that like the best way to do that. Or you can do free gens, but I recommend not doing that. I recommend doing two gens alone. And then maybe cleansing a Hex Totem and then opening the Exit Gate. Which, if your teammates are still alive and you guys uh, did do all the gens, you should get the 5 gen completion bonus, which is 5 points for every single gen. So, uh, yeah. Now, this one is a little bit trickier. You need 880 points to get the iridescent emblem. You start with 100 points. And every time you're not in chase and you're in the killer's terror radius, you get one point per second. But there is a multiplier, for example, as you guys can see, if you are five meters in the killer's terror radius, or if you're five meters close to the killer, I think you can say, then you will get a six times multiplier. And a chase earns you also a one point per second, which does multiply over the time. Pallet stuns give you 50 points for every single pallet stuns, and losing the chase cuts all the points in half. So make sure to escape. Now for this one, you only need 40 total bonus points. Uh, one safe unhook gives you 20 points, so you can just get two safe unhooks, or you can unhook a survivor, then heal that survivor. Then, if another survivor gets down, you can just take a hit for the survivor while they are carried for the 10 extra points. So, this one is not that hard, but it can be a little bit tricky sometimes, because um, if a survivor does get hooked and that survivor does not get saved, as you guys can see here on the screen, you lose 10 benevolent points if any survivor is hooked. If the survivor gets unhooked by any means, you earn those points back. But if that survivor doesn't get unhooked, you lose those points. So make sure to unhook your teammates. Now, to get the uh, Iridescent Emblem, you are not allowed to get into the dying state once in the entire match so you can get injured but you cannot escape if you have been downed but that is a maybe a little bit too much to ask for so you can always go for the gold emblem which a lot of people still do um, you can get down but as long as you escape either from the hatch or the exit gate you are going to get a gold emblem which is just as good now to summarize everything up we are going to go through everything once again but we're just going to go for everything really fast so to get the Lightbringer, you are going to need to repair two gens, cleanse a hex totem, and open the exit gate to get your iridescent emblem. And for the benevolent, you're going to want to, or how do you even pronounce it? I really don't know how to pronounce it. Anyways, you're going to want to get a uh, unsafe, no, safe hook rescue. And you're going to want to heal a teammate, and you're going to want to take a hit for a survivor while they are carried. For the next one, the evader, you're going to want to get your 880 points. Get the pallet stuns, be in chases, just stay close to the killer at all times, and uh, unbroken, really simple, just don't get down. Yeah, so if I were you, I, were, I was going to subscribe because if you don't subscribe, the same thing will happen to you that just happened to me. My phone started calling in the middle of a match, and uh, almost got me to lose if the Legion did not leave me alone. So I got the opportunity to answer, and uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this helps you. Please come back to this video and comment down below if this did work for you. 
um make sure to do it right follow the steps correctly and uh yeah have an amazing day and subscribe goodbye